found the table. I'm replacing the rear-facing camera in an iPhone 8, which is the phone on the left-hand side here. If you're not sure which one the iPhone 8 is, you probably should not be attempting to do this repair. It has been sitting on the heat mat now at 60 degrees Celsius for about four minutes. So it's ready to go. And to begin with, I'll take out the pentalobe screws in the bottom of the iPhone. And then from there, you'll be using a flat pry tool or flat metal pry tool is my typical tool of choice for this. And I pry in the bottom left hand corner of the phone. You should be able to slide in just enough and then you should be able to work around the screen itself. Do take care on the right hand lower section of the screen as that's where the flex connectors to the display go. So be careful not to slice them or else you'll also be up for a screen replacement. And then once you have done that, you should be able to or you should be able to open it up similar to a book. So you'd pry on the left hand side or lift up on the left hand side of the screen and then fold it to the right hand side. Just like that. And then next we'll use a Phillips head screwdriver and undo the four screws that cover over the battery, the touchpad, uh, the LCD connector, and also the home button connector. What we're doing here is opening it up or taking this cover off to disconnect the battery. that you'll be removing the bracket covering the front sensor connector and it also covers the front camera connector which is three Phillips head screws a pair of tweezers and you should be able to take that off like so I'm going to use the tweezers as well just to disconnect the front facing camera which does have another bracket over it with two non magnet or non magnetic screwdrivers in them and then there's a bracket which holds the front or the rear facing camera in position. Brackets off and the flex connector for the camera is disconnected. You should be able to wobble it out quite easily, like so. And next up is getting a new front fa uh, rear facing camera and installing it from there, which is essentially the reverse steps. You've inserted the rear facing camera into its position and connected up the flex connector. You should be able to lightly sit the bracket over it, which is a two screw bracket, which would normally sit quite well. The next dilemma you've got is putting on the non-magnetic oh, non, non screws, which did prove to be a little bit of a challenge. What I've decided to use in the end here is a pair of tweezers to align it and drop it into the correct position. And with a bit of luck, I was able to get it to line up and screw in. So from here on out, most of the steps are pretty reversible from what you've already done. Just keep track of which screws came from where. And hopefully, with a bit of luck, you'll have a working camera like this one will quite soon. Anyway, I'm going to leave you on your own. Any questions, leave it in the comments section below. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.